the Jap Karab notes here. Um, we're going to have the uh, be able to maintain these in, in uh, per perpetuity, and we're going to make them available online. They won't be online tomorrow. <laughs> that that will be a process, but um, we're going to work to do that. One thing I was going to say about the Jack Rob notes, in notes like this, you know, historical records like this are more than just a reflection of the past. You know, these records are a snapshot of the beginning that we're bringing in today, or a beginning of the golden era for development in, in Orange County. Even more than a picture, they are part of the DNA for property rights and infrastructure. With a strong influence in the Newport coastal communities and radiant out to most of OC, the Jack Rob notes, these surveyors' records can hold keys to unlinking disconnected surveys and unlock, unlocking correct boundary locations. Many of the survey monuments shown in these records exist in the field today. To the novice surveyor unearthing these monuments, oftentimes it creates confusion as a surveyor cannot reconcile these with the other records that are available. On occasion, the surveyor will continue their survey disregarding that evidence that should have, been, should have helped them arrive at the correct establishment. You know, having these blueprints showing the establishment and relationship to previous surveys can save these professionals and others several hours of expanding surveys and in the end save the public money for their survey today and often keep them out of courts fighting over slivers of land with, with their neighbors. This alone is a great public service. In a difficult economic time such as we are in today with dis decreasing public monies, it would be easy to say that we have no money to take these records into our control. However, given the importance to the public, we, find, we will find a way to house and make these records accessible to the public. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here as these are taken into the public domain. This is a service I'm committed to. And while they won't be available online tomorrow, like I mentioned, we'll get them out there as soon as we can. And with that, I'd like to have uh, Greg Helmer come up here. Nacho, Ray, thanks for the uh, opportunity and for hosting this event. Um, on behalf of RBF, I'm pleased to be here to donate these important survey records. As uh, Ray talked about, they're an important part of our fabric of land tenure here. They're an important skeleton that, that fits together how our community has developed. We go back to the uh, early formation of RBF Consulting is Jack Robb and Associates in 1944. 1944 was uh, D-Day. It was the year D-Day. 155,000 Americans landed on the French shores and liberated Paris. It was also um, the uh, fourth election of uh, Franklin Roosevelt, the president to be uh, elected uh, four times was back to our history, there was about 150,000 people in Orange County at the time. <laughs> Jack Robb started his, his business in Costa Mesa. Um, at the time, a uh, survey crew consisted of at least three people, and uh, they were getting about $15 an hour for a survey crew at that time. <laughs> so. They did a lot of uh, surveys in the Newport area, Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, uh, Costa Mesa, up into Anaheim, um, covered a lot of, of Orange County and a lot of the uh, development of uh, all of Orange County and South Orange County. Bill Frost came on board um, in 1955. They, uh, these, these notes are not the entire body of the work of um, Jack Robb and Bob Bine, Bill Frost. A lot of the work is, is in the developments themselves. There's recorded maps. Uh, there were records of surveys filed. They did uh, the tide lines for Back Bay development. They designed and built Lido Island, Spyglass Hill, a lot of the legacy properties that we see today. Uh, most of Mission Viejo. The development of South Orange County was part of this. 
It's RBF is pleased to uh, be a part of the legacy of the County of Orange. We have a lot of uh, legacy partners. Our two CEOs came from working here at the county. Uh, Garland Clark, my mentor in our mapping department, was a county employee, and, and Ray worked for us for a while. Um, as we've gone through the, these notes, there's a lot of interesting things in there besides the, the surveys and things. It did run across uh, an invoice for some work on Catella Avenue, and I, if, you, if you run across it, I couldn't be sure if it was if it was paid or not. So if you check up, it was, I think it's about two hundred and twenty-five dollars. No <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it's been uh, quite a legacy for nearly seventy years. This uh, um, the records that we donate today, uh, we feel are very important to have such a good home and a good uh, caretaker of them to make them part of the public record. They they've been talked about for a lot of years. I mean, this is this has been going on for a while. The the story goes that um, uh, Paul Como and Bill Frost argued over these for a long time, and Bill Frost adamantly said, "No, no, no, no. You know, this is this is this is RBF records, and, and we'll if you need them, you come ask us." <laughs> and we well. Have. <laughs> Bill Frost comes down once in a while for uh, Christmas parties, and so I'll, I'll explain to him the logic behind this, and I'm, I'm sure he'll agree in the end. <laughs> We're very pleased uh, to uh, make this donation today, and uh, glad that the community can, uh, can share in that. I have uh, one of them here for Newport Beach that you can uh, put into your office. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you take this to the owners today, this will entitle you to uh, have a cocktail on their patio yeah. out on yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's value. Okay. Oh, And yeah. Nacho, we have, have one for you. This is uh, the uh, Coney Island subdivision, also in Newport Beach. So you'll find a good Wonderful. place for that. Thank you. And thank you once again. Thank um, you. Appreciate you. Uh, giving us the opportunity. This has been long coming. It's a wonderful day. And we are so happy that you're donating these documents to the county. We couldn't be prouder. Uh, we consider RBF as part of our family, an extension of the county. And in fact, you are probably one of the most loved, and I can say it, we're in public individuals <laughs> here at the county. Thank you for this gift. You're more than welcome. A few uh, personal comments about Jack S. He was one of the most caring, most uh, uh, dedicated hum human beings we've, we've come across. He set the legacy for our company. He set the character. He made us all understand just how important it is for integrity, honesty, and dependability is in our profession. There were no shortcuts for Jack as Rob. You did it one way, and he said, we make a contract. If we make a mistake, we don't charge any more of the contract. We fix the mistake. It was my privilege to join in 1962 and to be with Jack for a few years before he died. And I consider it one of the great honors of my professional career. And then I also have to claim that Bill Frost, not only as a colleague, but one of my closest friends. So this is something I have been after for the last 15 years to get these records over here into the hands of the county because I'm a very I'm a history buff and I believe this kind of information needs to be available in the years ahead so I thank you so much for accepting these and Greg thank you for being the conduit to get them here and uh, 
May they be of great use to all of us in the future. Thank you.